Hello everyone, this is Julito Parantardi Borde, a grade 12 STEM Newton student, and this is my return demo on balancing chemical equation. Without further ado, let's get started. So we have here an example of a chemical equation. We have sulfuric acid plus lead hydroxide react to form lead sulfate plus water. So we have here, um, this is what we called the reactant and this is what we called here the product. And this here, the number here, is what we call the subscript and for here we have to find their coefficient. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to write all the element that present in this chemical equation. We have the H, we have H, we also have SO4 since SO4 is a polyatomic ion itself, so no need to separate the elements. So SO4. We also have here PB. And lastly, we have our O. After we write all the element that present in this chemical equation, next is we have to write all the subscript in this element. So for H in the reactant, since there are two H, so we have to write uh, there are two subscript, which is the two and the four. So we have here two and four. For SO4, since there is no subscript, so it is automatically 1. For PB, since there is no subscript, so it is also a 1. And for O, so since it is 4, so the subscript for O is 4. For the product, so for H, we have 2. For the SO4, we also have 2 here. And for the PB, since there is no subscript, so we have to write 1. And for the O, also there is no subscript, so it is automatically 1. So after we write all the subscript, we have to multiply them by their coefficient. So for H, since there is no coefficient here, so let's try, let's assume it is 1 here. And for the um, here, H, since there is no coefficient, so let, is, let us also assume it is 1 here. For the SO4, since... Um, it is a compound, so it is automatic automatically they both share the same coefficient with H. So since there is no coefficient, so let us assume it is 1 also. For PB, since there is no coefficient, let us assume it is 1. And for the O, I mean for the 4, uh, yes, for the O, since um, there is no subscript, I mean coefficient, so let us assume it is 1 also. For the product, the coefficient for H, since there is no coefficient, so let us assume it is 1. For the SO4, since there is no coefficient, so it is automatically 1. I mean let us assume it is 1, 
And for the PB, since PB and SO4 is compound, so automatically they both share the same coefficient with SO4. So since there is no coefficient, so let us assume it is 1. For the O also, since there is no coefficient, so let us assume it is 1. Now let's answer and find out if they are balanced. So one, 2 times 1 equals to 2. 4 times 1 equals to 4. Since there are 2H, so let's add 2 plus 4 is 6. 1 times 1 equals to 1. 1 times 1 equals to 1 also. 4 times 1 equals to 4. 2 times 1 equals to 2. 2 times 1 equals to 2. 1 times 1 equals to 1. And 1 times 1 equals to 1. As you can see, it is not balanced since for the H, the answer here is 6. Here is 2. 1, 2, 1, 1, 4, 1. So what we have, uh, what we need to do is to change their coefficient. So there are changes when it comes in their coefficient so that it will be able to balance. So since um, it is 6 here, so let's try to multiply the um, 2 here with 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. So um, since H and O shared the same coefficient, so it is automatically also change here by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. So as you can see in SO4, it is 1 here and 2. So we have to multiply the SO4 for the reactant to be able to answer it to 2. So it is 2 here. So 1 times 2, it is 2. Since H and SO4 share the same coefficient, so also here, it is changed into 2. So 2 times 2 is to 4, and 4 plus 4 is equals to 8. Since it is 8 here, so we have to change here into 8 also. So 2 times 4 here, so that the answer will be 8. Since H and O again share the same coefficient, so it, uh, it is um, 4 here. So 1 times 4 is to 4. So as you can see, it is now balanced because we have here 8. 2, 1, and 4. So the coefficient for H2SO4 is 2. The coefficient for PBOH or lead hydroxide is 1. And for the... Um, PBSO4 or lead sulfate, so it is also a 1. And for the H2O or water, we have 4. And that is how are we going to balance a chemical equation. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.